You spilled my beer, bitch! You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Dickhead! <laughs> Rachel? Come on! Hurry up! Let me go, Frank! Not gonna happen! Calm down! <laughs> Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps, but it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye? That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey! Dickhead! Rachel? Come on! Hurry up! Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes... We need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? 
I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and... if your father could hear you... No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should, too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most... Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. Stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? Huh. 
please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? I mean... Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? You know, like, a friendship, but more. Ah. I know, weird, right? It's just, today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize, Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. And what is this, exactly? A, a real friendship. I thought Chloe Price doesn't need friends. I, I thought so too, before today. I, I guess it's easier to be alone if you decide it's a choice. I'm sorry for whatever I did or didn't do. Today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up, cause I'm a fucking screw up. Chloe, please. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm sorry, Chloe. I can't say why, and I know it isn't fair. But I can't be your friend right now. Can't or don't want to. Does it matter? I'm really sorry. Goodbye, Chloe. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you.
Come on.